What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be putting CBD and lion's mane to the test for sleep. If you're like me and you're looking to improve your sleep quality, I'm gonna show you whether or not lion's mane and CBD make a difference so you don't have to spend your money or time doing so. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly. So if you're into this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the type A tribe. Now I've been recording my sleep data for over a year using my Aura Ring 2 data. So I have a pretty good baseline for my REM and my deep sleep. That being said, I'm going to see if my two week experiment using lion's mane and CBD made any difference in my overall sleep scores using my sleep data. By the end of this video, you should know if these supplements actually work on sleep, and if so, which one works better. And before we dive deep into the results, let's first look at what these supplements are and why you would wanna use them in the first place. Because they're not just intended for sleep. In fact, people use them for all sorts of physical and mental health benefits. So let's start with lion's mane. Now this is a medicinal mushroom commonly referred to as the lobster of the woods because of its seafood-like taste. I personally think it looks like a mop dog, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, it's often found in the brain supplement aisle of your grocery store because it's supposed to help with things like memory, focus, and overall cognition. Now, I first learned all about these benefits and the science behind Lion's Mane when I sat down with Neil Thainer. He's a foraging expert and the founder of Wild Kingdom Extracts. These compounds that it has in it are called arenesines, and these compounds promote brain growth, neuron repair, synapse repair. It's the only non-psychedelic mushroom that can do that. So when you start to take lion's mane, it, it starts to feed the brain, it starts to heal inflammation in the brain. And when that starts to happen, the natural byproduct of that is increased focus, better memory, lifted brain fog. Huge shout out to Neil and his awesome dual extracted mushroom tinctures. I've left you guys a coupon code in the description below, so go check them out, give them some love. Okay, so the lion's mane has compounds that can help stimulate nerve growth factor, which is a protein that helps with brain function. Now, I personally prefer to take lion's mane as a tincture because it just feels more potent, but you can also find it as a powder. I highly recommend Four Sigmatic's lion's mane and chaga powder coffee mix. I use that when I just need a cognitive boost and a jolt of energy. It's, uh, it's stupid good. On to CBD or cannabidiol. That's a, that's a really fun word to say. So this is the non-psychoactive part of the cannabis plant. I touched a little bit on the effects of CBD in my last video. So if you haven't seen that already, go make sure to add that to your watch list. Okay, so the way CBD works is it acts on receptors throughout the body known as the endocannabinoid system. So this acts on everything from the body's immune system to your hormone levels and even your pain receptors. So here in Northern California, the CBD craze has exploded. So much so that you can find CBD in everything from cosmetics to your water to your toilet paper. I'm not even kidding. Anyway, CBD has become hugely popularized for its potential benefits on anxiety, inflammation, and pain relief. Overall, CBD does seem to be pretty safe, although it can potentially have some side effects like irritability and nausea, but it's actually really hard to overdo it. You would have to ingest 20,000 milligrams of CBD in a very short amount of time in order for it to be toxic to humans. Now, most tinctures I've seen on the market have less than 3,000 milligrams. So yeah, that would be pretty hard to overdo it. So on to my results using my Aura Ring data. So let me preface this by saying I was inspired to do this experiment in the first place after hearing not one, not two, but three of my favorite biohacking podcasters talking about lion's mane and the impact it's had on their sleep. So they all used Life Cycle's dual extracted lion's mane tincture with kakadu plum. So naturally, I bought the same thing to do the same exact experiment on myself. Now the kakadu plum, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The kakadu plum 
is an antioxidant intended to amplify the effects of the mushroom. To be honest, I don't know whether or not the kakadu plum makes a huge difference, but there's not really a great way to test it. So that's just my opinion. But the results were nonetheless very interesting. So let's jump over to my graph with my aura ring data. So here you can see it spans the course of a month. In the white sections, I didn't take anything for sleep, but in the orange section, I took lion's mane, and in the blue section, I took CBD. When taking the lion's mane, which you can see in orange, my REM sleep consistently stayed higher than my base average, and I even saw a huge spike on the 15th, which is one of my highest nights of REM sleep ever. Then there was a dip in my REM sleep when I started taking CBD on the 17th and 18th. But if you look at CBD and its impact on my deep sleep down here, those scores stayed consistently high compared to my average. And you can see another dip on the 26th, which is the night I stopped taking CBD. Now this seems pretty subtle, but let's take a look at my six month Aura Ring data. As you can see, this was the only two two week period in which my deep sleep didn't drop below the average. Now, normally I see a dip at least every five days. So I'm thinking that this speaks to the power of these supplements. So the major conclusions I have extrapolated from my data is that lion's mane did help me improve my REM sleep and CBD did help improve my deep sleep. So now comes the question, which one should you choose? And to be honest, I think they both work great for different things. So REM sleep is a time in which we consolidate memory. In his book, Why We Sleep, which I highly recommend you guys check out if you're interested in nerding out on sleep, author Matthew Walker says, I think of dreaming as overnight therapy because it takes the edges off our emotional experiences so we feel better the next day. Sometimes we solve complex problems in our REM sleep mode. Other times we are just doing a data dump of everything that we learned that day. So the bottom line is if you are studying for a test or you're going through something emotional, you might consider taking lion's main to help boost your REM sleep. For deep sleep, this is when your body does a full detox. Your blood sugars actually balance out and this is when physical recovery occurs. If you've ever experienced sleep deprivation when you can't even keep your eyes open, this is probably because you have experienced a lack of deep sleep. So if you are dealing with fatigue or mental or physical strain or even just pain trying to go to sleep, I would hedge my bets on CBD to potentially help you boost your deep sleep. Now for this experiment, I went with the company Papa and Barkley and their 30 to one tincture. Now this tincture has more than just CBD. So you can't obviously get it in every state, but I've heard great things about the company's Medterra and Onda Wellness. So I will link that up for you guys below in the description. Finally, we move on to cost. So a good CBD oil or tincture, it is not gonna be cheap. The Papa and Barkley one that I used was a hundred bucks. And I have found in just doing a little bit of research online that most capsules and oils, they're gonna range somewhere between 80 to 200. Check out the site CBD Oil Review so you can do your homework and shop around to find the best source of CBD before you buy. But I will say that Lion's Mane is a hell of a lot cheaper. This Lifecycle brand that I tried is available on Amazon for about $35 a bottle, but you can also check out the dual extracted Wild Kingdom Lion's Mane, which is also 35, but I've included a sweet discount code for you guys. Give them some love and check them out. Cool, well, that is all for now. I hope that you guys learned something. If you did, please use your big thumbs and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And I can't wait to catch you on the next one. Okay, so the lion's mane has compounds that can stimulate nerve growth factor, or NGF. What the f Lion's mane mushrooms have been shown to be exceptionally active in stimulating the synthesis of nerve growth factor. To what? find out more, look for the link in your Google Home or Google Assistant app. God damn it, Siri. What the fuck was that? She's trying to take over my video!